Hey guys, Flo Ion from Android Central here, and we're here at Google I.O. 2017. It's the last day, but there's still a couple of things to see. Let's go see what some of the experiments are that developers have been working on using some of the underlying technologies that we learned about here this week. Okay guys, I'm about to play with Giorgio Cam, which if you've heard that name before, it's named after Giorgio Moroder, yes, the godfather of dance music essentially. Uh, so we're gonna make some dance music of our own using machine learning. We're gonna take a picture with this pixel of these various objects and have it make a little song for us. So let's dance. Making rhymes right now. All right, let's uh. Whoa, the music is getting bassier. All right, let's try the sax. Maybe we'll get something cool and sultry and maybe a little sexy. Not a guitar, but nice try. All right, let's try. Okay, last one. So this is called Home Screen Arcade and it uses live wallpapers, widgets, and your notifications to help you play a little Space Invaders game on your home screen. It's neat. Okay guys, I'm about to play some ping pong with a virtual wall. This is called Contraball, and the way it works is it's actually running through a stable version of the Chrome browser on a Pixel right now. And it's, it's, I'm basically hitting a ping pong ball against a wall, and I'm sad I can't show it to you guys because I'm actually doing a pretty good job if I do save it so myself. Okay, I'm on my last life, so maybe I'm not doing that well. Only three points. This is actually an experiment by a student from CIID in Denmark. In okay. Denmark. And he won a competition that we had earlier this year for experiments. And he's done something that we really like. Yes. He made this object that has an electrical outlet and a camera. And you can train it on the fly to either open or shut electricity from any device using whatever it sees through the camera. So machine learning running on a Raspberry Pi. $50 so can I program it? You can program it to do whatever you want. Yeah, give it a shot. Okay, we're gonna train the OSP. Off. On. Off. Oh, neat. You guys already know that Google Chrome is a very powerful browser. Look at this, I just materialized some little red ball. This is a Chrome experiment. It's using Chrome right here with a little bit of Firebase backend. And down here, there's an Intel Edison board running Android things that's controlling this little control hub right here. So we're gonna make some characters, make some things fly. Some some beautiful colors and things and just turn knobs. I haven't managed to crash it yet. So that's that's good. That looks cool. It's alive! I didn't think I was gonna play a version of Pictionary at Google I.O., but here we go. We've got Auto Draw behind us, which has been programmed so that we can do multiplayer mode and actually race against the clock to see who can draw the best. See if I can draw the best. 
I see the four garden hose. I see toe. I see ear. It's not a toe, but. I see ear. Four finger. Four L. Four river. Four okay, rib. you guys, I yeah, thought I could draw better than this. Okay, this I can draw. I see, I see squiggle. Four underwear. Four hexagon. Oh, I know. It's hourglass. I see mountain. Four arrow. Oh, I know. It's ten. Oh my gosh. It just, it wants me to just not even try. Okay, spreadsheet, really? I see bench, more table, more diving board. Oh, I know, it's spreadsheet. Oh my god, flying saucer. I see shoes, more hockey Come on! Flying saucer. I see Oh, I know, it's a Okay, look. Ah! No! It's a book! It's a book! Come on, you know it's a book! Notebook! I don't know, it's a book! Come on! You don't know that's a book! <sighs> Way to let me down. Oh, at least I got second! I'm happy with second place. This guy... He's more interactive than you think. Sure, it goes on your face, but with Spot the Bot, you can play a game with your friend as he tries to help you find the bots that's in this little virtual reality world right here. So let's see if I can help somebody spot the bot. Okay, here we go. So the robot you're looking for is orange faced. He has an orange head. He has a blue pipe on top of his head and he's got blue circular eyes. Yeah, so he's got an orange head. You found him! Cool. The next guy, he's got a green box head with blue eyes, a blue spring on top of his head, a blue cylinder on the left of his face. No. <laughs> Alright, let's skip. Alright, so this guy is a magenta face. He's a cylinder. Well, we found one bot. Thank you. I'm sorry. Don't invite me to your house to play this game because I'll make you lose. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, guys, this is called Landlines. So we're going to look for lines in the land here on planet Earth uh, using Google Maps uh, information, uh, Google satellite imagery. So let's see. A straight line all the way down. Where was? Where is that naturally occurring? That is a highway in Florida. How apropos. Let's see. That's in Kazakhstan, which looks like a very curvy country. Oh, Marshall Islands. Well, that looks lovely. Nice little vacation spot. Indiana. It looks like a command sign. <sighs> you guys, those experiments have really tired me out. Coupled with this blazing hot sun, part of the sunburn I may have received during this week, I think I'm just gonna lay here, take a little rest, and we'll see you later on AndroidCentral.com. I'm playing alone right now. This is a lot easier with Daydream.